It's 1911 in Whiting, Indiana. Dr. William Burton, manager of Standard Oil's Indiana Refinery, prepares for an experiment that could make his name or end his life. Gasoline is an expensive byproduct of crude oil. But William Burton believes it is the fuel of the future, if he can find a cheaper way of producing it. After months of painstaking work in the lab, Burton is ready to test his theory. He plans to chemically crack oil by putting it under intense heat and pressure. But there's a problem. Heat and pressure is known to make oil highly explosive. Before there was welding, they had these riveted vats. You can picture like a ship's hull. It's really dangerous. Human beings want to be caught up in something greater than themselves. And this idea or this invention that takes hold of someone's mind and comes to define them, of course, is going to be worth every possible sacrifice. You gotta wind that a bit fast. As the pressure rises and the temperature hits 400 degrees Celsius, superheated oil begins to spray from the rivets. The tank could explode at any minute. Burton and his men desperately seal the gaps and hammer the rivets back into place. If Burton is wrong and there's nothing but black crude in the tank, he's risked everyone's lives for no good reason. But if it's clear, he's done it. <laughs> Given the way that gasoline or petrol has become a linchpin in our daily lives, that one single invention has had a massive effect on the world economy. <laughs>